Let's practice some more with quadrilaterals on a grid, proving, showing, giving evidence um, that they are what we think they are. All right, we have a nice little shape here. Let's check see if anything is parallel. So we're going after slopes. Uh, let's go left side. Up one, two, three, four. Right one, two, four over two. All right. Right side, one, two, three, four, one. Four over one. Not parallel. And now let's go to the top and the bottom. Um, down one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Down one, right seven. Let's go to the top. Down one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so those aren't parallel either. All right. Well, the only thing that doesn't have parallel sides is a kite. And a kite has the sides next to each other are the same size. So let's look at the top and the right. That's a 1 and a 6. And a 1 and a 4. So that would be like uh, 1 squared plus 4 squared for Pythagorean theorem. And a 1 squared plus 6 squared. And those aren't going to come out the same. So I don't have any adjacent sides the same. And I don't have parallel. So it's just, it's just quadrilateral. It's not a special one. All right, our second quadrilateral we're looking at. Again, first thing uh, I want to look at, nothing really looks the same, so... Wow, that's not... What, what doesn't look the same? Oh, maybe it's a trapezoid, okay. So let's look at slopes. Um, right and left. Uh, left side, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Four, three. And the right side, one, two, one. 2 over 1. Um, yeah, those aren't parallel. Alright. Yeah, and they're not the same size, you know, because they'd be parallel kind of thing. Uh, maybe the bottom and the top, yeah, they don't look it, but let's, you know, just prove it. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Make it 3, 5, and 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Maybe 1 over 7. Alrighty, so yeah, not parallel. But that's kind of boring when things aren't anything. And are they the same size? Could this be a kite? Um, the top and the right, um, that's a, we need the numbers for it, so that's a, uh, wrong color. That's a 2 squared plus 1 squared, and the top is a 3 squared plus 5 squared, and uh, that's Four, let's see, this is 9, 25, yeah, that's, you know, 30, yeah, 34, and the top is, a five. yeah, those aren't going to be the same size, and so if, if the Jasons aren't the same size, it's not a kite, so it's uh, not special. We got this uh, shape here, it actually looks like something, we think it's a rhombus, right? All right, so it's proofs, so, uh, we got parallel sides. So let's go this uh, D to F, this top left thing. One, two, three, one, two. Slope of three, two. So let's go to G to E, the bottom right side. One, two, three, one, two. Awesome, those are parallel. Now let's check out the other sides. Um, D to G. One, two, three, one, two. Negative three over two. And F, one, two, three, one, two. Negative 3, 2. Parallel. Excellent. So it's a parallelogram. Um, we've got to prove they're the same size. So let's uh, prove they're all the same size. So the red ones are 3 squared plus 2 squared equals C squared. You know, 9, 4. So that's going to be a 13 on that side. My orange sides are negative 3 squared plus 2 squared. Well, negative 3 squared is negative 3 times negative 3, which is, you know, 9. And plus 4, so 13. So, the parallel sides and the 13 matched with the 13 get that it's a rhombus. Same si congruent sides. We've got another shape here. Um, not a parallel, nullogram, kite, trapezoid. Well, let's see. Um... Let's get our slope, let's get our numbers here. Top left, we're going 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Um, 
bottom right is going to be a 1, 2, 1, 2. And so definitely not parallel there. So it's not a parallelogram. Other sides, we got a 1, 2, 1, 2, down 2, right 2, and a 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, down 2, right 3. Oh, so it's uh, not a trapezoid. So kite would have the adjacent sides being the same. So we've got a 2, 3, and a 2, 3 next to each other. Oh, okay, so let's see, 2 squared plus 3 squared for that top side, and 2 squared plus 3 squared for that bottom left side. And so, Okay, so adjacents are the same. Let's make sure the other adjacents are the same also. Um, 2, 2. 2, 2. Yeah, we're going to have a 2 squared plus 2 squared. And a 2 squared plus 2 squared. So adjacents are congruent. So that makes this a kite.